Hey, welcome back to the Motorcycle Travel Channel. I'm Sterling Doreen and this is my channel about motorcycle adventure, travel, and helping you make better motorcycle travel videos. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the new GoPro Hero 8. Right now we're in Bisbee, Arizona. This is where I live. This is my home. We're the southernmost mile high city in the United States. And my girlfriend and I recently purchased a vintage motel. We call it a motorcycle motel because we're motorcyclists and we cater to motorcyclists. So if you're ever down in Southern Arizona looking for a great place to ride and a great place to stay, stop in at our motel here. And today what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna take you around town, show you where I live, Bisbee, Arizona, why it's such a cool little town. I think it's the coolest small town in America. And along the way, I'm going to be testing out this new GoPro Hero 8. The bike I'm riding is my 1972 BMW R50. I've had this bike for 26 years. It was the first motorcycle I bought as an adult. And we're going to take it for a ride through town, test out this GoPro Hero 8. Let's go. down here in the Mule Mountains of Southern Arizona, about 5,300 feet of elevation. And this is the old section of Highway 80 that came up and over Mule Mountain Pass before they built the modern highway with the tunnel. You'll notice here that it says Continental Divide. That's actually a mistake. We're not on the Continental Divide. That's a couple hundred miles to the east of us over in New Mexico. So it's just kind of funny that they put this on this monument here calling it the Continental Divide when it actually is not that. So it's taken me more than a few tries to get what I consider a good shot. Every time I've tried so far, the camera has always been pointed too low and I can't really see enough of the road ahead. So I've got it set the highest it's been yet and we're about ready to go through the tunnel. Let's see if I got it mounted right this time as we go through the, the tunnel. So I just stopped on the side of the road here to show you the sign behind me. It says Bisbee Registered National Historic Landmark. That last shot that I just did going through the tunnel, I feel like if I were to tilt the camera up and see more of the road, then you wouldn't even see any of the motorcycles. So I'm actually going to switch it up. I'm going to put it on the chesty, this chest harness, and see if I can get a better panoramic view. <laughs> So this is downtown Bisbee. It's a really cool old historic city, probably more architecturally interesting and well-preserved buildings in one place than anywhere else in the state of Arizona. We're gonna ride around through the back streets of old Bisbee now and continue testing out this GoPro Hero 8. All right, how are you guys doing so far? Enjoying the ride? I sure hope so. I'm enjoying showing you where I live here in Bisbee, Arizona, testing out this new GoPro. And I think we finally got the mounting solution figured out, at least for this bike. I wouldn't always be traveling on this bike or with this helmet. I mean, typically when I'm on a, a longer adventure touring ride, I'm riding my adventure bike. It's a 1200 GS, a BMW. And of course I'd be wearing a full face helmet. So um, I guess you have to kind of decide what works best for whatever bike you're riding, whatever helmet you're using in, in terms of like where you position the camera and what you want to see. In this case, I found that on the helmet, it just didn't really show any of the motorcycle as I was going down the road. So I mounted it on this chesty so that I can actually see some of the bike and the view ahead. And those last few scenes that we saw were in the super view, which is the widest lens that you can use on this camera. 
for this little next section here, I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to set it to the wide setting. So it's still a wide angle lens, but it's not quite as wide as super view. So we're going to go down the steepest hill in Old Bisbee right now. This should be an adventure. And then we're going to go over to a really cool old market. And uh, we'll see you there. Well, this is too bad. I guess they're not open. I really wanted to show you guys this place here. It's called the Mimosa Market. It's been here forever. We'll take a quick peek inside the windows, but when you come to Bisbee, check out this market, support them, give them your, your business. And it's just, it's like a, a store from the 1930s. Really cool. So we've looked at your basic helmet mount. We've looked at the chest harness. Now I'm gonna look at some other mounting options on the motorcycle. All right, so here I've got it mounted using ram mounts on the handlebar and this little extension pole with a GoPro attachment on the top. And I'm gonna to try to get some shots of myself riding and just see how this works. I want to teach you guys how to make better motorcycle travel videos. That's the point of this whole thing. Obviously, we're testing out the new GoPro, but I want to help you. So let me know what you think, what you want to learn, and how I can help you. Right now, I'm in downtown Old Bisbee in an area of town called Brewery Gulch. There's like a dozen different bars and restaurants in this little area. We've got the Old Bisbee Brewing Company behind me. Back there is St. Elmo's. It's the oldest operating bar in Arizona. We've got room four, which is the smallest bar in Arizona. There's the quarry, which has really great live music. And over here is the courtyard. And they're all really good places. And it's just so cool. You can park your bikes at the motel and just walk downtown, have a few beers with your buddies, and then head back up to the motel and get a good night's sleep. So I just wanted to show you this part of Old Bisbee, but let's get back on the bike and keep riding. Bisbee's historic copper mine pit. Over 8 billion tons of copper were pulled out of the ground here back in the day. It was one of the, the biggest and richest copper mines in the world. All right, for this one, we're going back to the linear mode. So this will be the least wide angle of all of them. So we've tested out a few shots so far. We've checked out the difference between wide and super wide and also linear. And we've mounted the camera on the helmet. We've mounted it on the chesty. We tried mounting it on a couple spots on the motorcycle. Now I want to get into sound. So I've got the little Rode wireless lavalier mic here and I've rubber banded the um, dead cat on the top of it to block the wind noise. So I'm going to power it up right now should be powered up and then I'll take the little clip that's built into it and I'll just oh, put it right here right on the chesty there we go that's close to my mouth and then I'm going to take this and plug it into the GoPro because I have the media mod that allows me to attach external microphones to it so let's turn this on here and then I'm going to attach this to the top of the GoPro okay so now we should be hearing sound from this microphone. So we're going through one of my favorite parts of town. It's a neighborhood called Lowell. And they were gonna tear it down many years ago because it's right next to the edge of the mine. But then they started putting in all these old cars and fixing up the old storefronts. And it's become like an outdoor museum of a town from the 1940s. So it's really cool. All these old cars, all these old storefronts. And there's even a great place to get breakfast here. We'll park the bike here for a second and take a quick walk around town, show you what this neighborhood looks like. So you got all these old cars here, like this big yellow taxi, this old Chevy. This is kind of cool. It's like an old hat shop, the latest from New York and Paris. There's an old truck filled up with some firewood. 
all these old pumps, old cars, an old Greyhound bus. So over here is a bike shop and it's actually still operational. You can go inside, they do have some parts and supplies, a lot of Harley stuff. You can tell by the colors, orange and black. So if you're into period memorabilia, old motorcycles, this is just a really cool part of town to wander around in. While I'm here, I might mention that I just replaced the battery in this GoPro. I'm on my third battery since I started filming, so that is definitely something to keep in mind. This thing really sucks up the power. I'm shooting most everything in 4K, so I think it probably uses more power using the 4K setting, but I am on my third battery. I did bring along with me two extra batteries, and I'll show you here. All right, so this is the extra battery charger here. I've got two little batteries in it and I brought my anchor power bank so that I can just charge the batteries on the go in my tank bag or whatever. And the other thing that happened today is that I've already ran out of memory in my memory card. So a 32 gigabyte card does not go a very long ways. Turned it back onto super wide. And I'm getting thirsty. I'm gonna go down to the gas station and get something cool to drink. We'll just pull in and Pretend we're gonna get some gas here. There we are. All right, full service, please. Okay, so I'm probably going 35 or 40 miles an hour. And I'm kind of curious to hear how the audio sounds going this fast. How's the wind noise? 35, 40 miles an hour. Forgot to turn on my gas. There we go. Okay, we've got a lot of wind noise now. I just can't imagine that it sounds too good. But that's what we're out here doing, just testing these things out, having a good ride. Right now, I'm going down the road about 60 miles an hour, and it's picking up my audio via this wireless microphone attached right here. And it actually seems to be doing a pretty good job. I'm amazed that you can get this kind of sound quality at 60 miles an hour with a microphone that's not mounted inside your helmet. I'm really impressed with this wireless lavalier microphone with this little windscreen on it. I'll know better when I get back in the studio and can really listen to it, but so far, yeah, pretty impressed with this little setup. And as long as I can keep the batteries on this charge, I'm thinking that maybe this might be a good in-helmet camera solution as well. This could very easily clip inside of a helmet. Now I'm gonna try one last thing before I head home, and that's the time warp function on this new GoPro. And that should be pretty cool. It's kind of like doing a time lapse, except it's a time lapse that you wanna use when you're moving the camera around. So I'm gonna mount the camera on my chest harness and test out the time warp feature next. like this quick little video about the GoPro Hero 8 and my test of it for use with motorcycle travel videos. All right, there we are. We're back here at the Jonquil Motel, our motorcycle motel here in Bisbee. I hope that you guys enjoyed this ride and my first impressions of the GoPro Hero 8. And if you guys have anything you want to see when it comes to motorcycle filmmaking or how to make your motorcycle videos better, please let me know. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel, drop a comment, and we'll see you next time.